too long. This is the first American submarine, a turtle. It was invented by Dr. Bushnell of Connecticut. His idea was to use it against British men of war in New York Harbor in 1776, at the time George Washington was being besieged there. He operated the submarine by means of this lever, which turned a propeller, causing the submarine to move. At the rear end of the submarine, he had a bomb, which he intended to attach to the ship itself, causing the ship to blow up. This is the first example of unification because Dr. Bushnell's brother, who was supposed to have operated the ship, became sick, and we got an army sergeant to run it. Now, what's the next picture we put up there? I'm rolling. This chart shows that one pound of uranium is equal to 2,600,000 pounds of coal. Here is the pound of uranium, which in comparison is so small that it's represented by a pinpoint. One pound of uranium is also equal to 360,000 gallons of gasoline. All right, stop the handkerchief. Okay, I'm going. This shows the inside of one of the fleet-type submarines which we used in the World War against the Japs. These are storage batteries, and this is the rest of the machinery plant. You can see that a good deal of the ship is taken up by the machinery plant. There are two, about 250 batteries in this ship. This is what one of the batteries of a large submarine looked like. It weighed about a ton. By means of nuclear power, we get rid of most of the batteries. When we use atomic power on a ship, we do not need air because no oxygen is required for combustion. Take the Queen Mary, for example. She burns about, uh, about one ton of oil every two minutes. To burn one ton of oil, she requires 15 tons by weight of air. Here's how much air you need to burn one ton of oil. This drum represents one ton of oil, and here are 40 ordinary houses, and it's the amount of air that you have in 40 ordinary houses. 